Hello, good people of YouTube. Mountbatten here. And today some interesting information came out about the upcoming Italian battleships. We got a couple of sneak peeks at the line. Nothing too much, but a couple of shots of, I believe, the Andrea Doria, which will be, if I had to guess, probably Tier 5-ish, maybe Tier 6, depending upon what exact setup she has. And the, I believe, the Tier 8, the Vittorio Veneto, or Venetio, however you, you pronounce it again, I'm not Italian, I apologize. And then the Tier 10, the Christoph Colombo, which I do believe is supposed to be Christopher Columbus. So, again, not, not too much. I'll play the clips on screen right now. Um, this all is in the video work we put out yesterday for you guys. We'll link that in the description down below. I do encourage you guys to go watch the full video. Uh, they also talk about a rework of Ranked Battles, which I will be talking about in the near future. Very interesting stuff there. But anyway, Italian battleships. So some other information was confirmed by Wargaming. The Italian battleships will have fuel smoke and sap. So that's confirming that. And that was highly speculated about in my last Italian battleship video. I talked about the reason I had the the whole line was postponed this far was because Wargaming was simply having one heck of a time trying to balance semi-armor piercing rounds especially battleship caliber semi-armor piercing rounds. We've seen how well the Venezia does with it, especially if you were in Season 9 of Clan Battles. Man, sap, that sap friggin' hurt. Um, they, they did nerf the pin angles a bit and the reload time on the Venezia, so it's not, you know, on God like it, like it was that season anymore. But it's still very, very, very potent, especially to lightly armored targets like light cruisers and DDs. So I can imagine with sap on the Italian battleships with, you know, 15-inch sap, uh, it, it, it's going to friggin' hurt. So I don't know if they're going to maybe decrease the amount of damage that it does or uh, maybe really nerf the pin angles or give these ships relatively long load times for their caliber of guns. I, I don't know how they're going to go around doing it, but I am very appreciative that Wargaming is still moving forward with putting sap on these battleships it adds more variety variety to the game it's good for the game so i commend wargaming for sticking to their guns as far as that uh fuel smoke i don't think fuel smoke would be that big of an issue to balance out these italian battleships if they take after the roma they're going to have very 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 weak side armor and very vulnerable citadels so fuel smoke will be much appreciated in these ships they'll be able to uh, well, I guess play a little stealth, even though a massive battleship size cloud of smoke should kind of give away their position. But they'll be able to disengage a lot easier, uh, get out of the line of, of side of carriers. And, you know, things like the Shigashima and the Thunderer won't be able to constantly snipe them as they're trying to disengage from battle. So I like the sound of that. Uh, and some people were asking, you know, are they going to retroactively give these consumables to Roma? The answer is, I, if I had to guess, probably not. Even though Roma does have the exhaust for the fuel smoke on her model, I, I don't think they'll give this to the Roma. Roma is just going to become, you know, that peculiar Italian battleship in three years. When people are wondering, why does the Roma have HG and not SAP? And then they'll figure out, you know, Roma's kind of old by that point. But yeah, so that's, that came out also... They said that these ships will have relatively small caliber guns for their tier. So, you know, we have the Roma at tier 8 right, right now, which has 15-inch guns at tier 8, which is about right. It's not exactly large by tier 8 standards, but it's not exactly small. We have pr plenty of other tier 8 battleships that have, you know, 15, 16-inch guns. But the uh, Christoph Colombo will have 16 15-inch guns. Oh boy, that's a lot of guns. That's a whole lot of guns. That's a whole lot of sap. So yeah, 16 15-inch guns. It's a 4x4, four, four. four turrets, I'm sorry, uh, four guns per turret. The French are probably feeling a bit uh, cheated at this point. But man, that's, uh, that, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot of firepower, both AP and sap, like... Shoot, that's uh, four friggin' Bismarcks. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, not 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 four Bismarcks. That that that's two Bismarcks. You basically have two Bismarcks uh, bolted to your deck at 
at that point. So yeah, that's uh, yeah. I I don't imagine it's going to have very good sigma or dispersion. And I'm not just saying that because the the Rome was like that, but I mean seriously, 16 16 guns at, at tier 10, and you know they are 15 inch guns, so they might give it pretty decent dispersion. Uh, but I'm not sure about the sigma and the reload time on those guns. I mean, shoot, if you look at the Montana and the Kerr first ships that are tied for uh, the most guns at tier 10 currently, you know they have the 30 second reload time. 32 second reload time on the curve first if you take the uh, 420 mill millimeter guns so 16 15 inch guns you know I wouldn't be surprised if we're looking at like a 32 or 33 second reload time on those guns and maybe a little bit more because of sap but yeah it's 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 wow they, they, they really went all, all out with that you know I thought maybe the tier 10 was probably gonna be like a 12 gun Roma except you know with like 16 or maybe 17 inch guns but nope, 16, 15 inch guns. That is what we are getting off of the, uh, off of the Christopher Colombo. I'm not sure if that name will change. They, they seem to really like changing the tier 10s names right before they get released. I don't know why, but who knows. But yeah, so Italian battleships. What do I think of this news? It's it's interesting. Very very interesting. Again, I'm glad they stuck to their original concept of the ships with the smoke generator, the uh, exhaust smoke generator, by the way. So you can have this smoke screen be constantly dispersed while you're maneuvering just like the Italian cruisers so that's again that's a very nice tool to have in your belt and it's be interesting to see what they give up for this because again for, for going off of the Roma they should have pretty good armor from the front pretty decent um, firing ang turret firing angles from the front and then their side should be fairly weak and they should have pretty bad firing angles from the rear uh, somewhat iffy AA. I mean, again, A right now is all over the place. I do imagine they'll probably have catapult fighters, maybe not spotters, but again, I don't know. And again, it's going to be interesting if they're going to keep the AP from the Roma, because the AP on the Roma is, uh, as you've been, been seeing, it loves to overpin stuff even with 15-inch guns because of the, the insane velocity of the Roma and the very 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 bad dispersion of the Roma too it, it is kind of nice to have these these guns where, where when they pin a cruiser it is a citadel you know most of the time but it, you know 75% of the time it's an overpin um, yeah the, 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 the Roma uh, yeah it's a special ship to me because it's the first ship I reviewed but I don't particularly like it all that much it's kind of really fallen out of the meta because it really does have to get close to be very very good and when it gets close it is fantastic don't get me wrong the Roma is a monster once it gets to like within 10 kilometers of a of a battleship, well, depending on the clip you're watching now, uh, I don't know if we've gotten to that point yet where I'm charging a monarch, but it's a monarch and it's got British BBHE, so he can kind of just melts me before I can before I can get him. But but you know, you guys get what I'm saying. When the ship gets in close, it's quite formidable. So if they do this with the Italian battleship line, you know, make them very close in ships, I would like that. But also like to see their dispersion get a bit improved over the the Roma as you're seeing here because it's it's wildly wildly inaccurate and isn't really suitable for modern world warships you know it's kind of a bygone premium at this point but again it, it still does have its moments but you gotta get in, you gotta get in really close um, but just from like the just from this information you know I'm, I'm kind of thinking that they're gonna go with a bit of a mid-range ship because I mean the Italian cruisers they're best played mid to close ish um, and that's just from my experience in, in clan battles last season so the these Italian battleships especially with the low caliber of the guns unless they do give it the insane velocity you know you're not gonna be really doing a whole lot of damage at tier 10 with 15 inch guns at the range that you would have to in order to be a sniper you know, from like 20 kilometers plus so I would expect these ships probably have a like a 20 kilometer maximum range maybe again all speculatory they did say keep an eye out for the dev blog so we'll probably heck I may be making another video about this today they may release the dev blog tomorrow or on Friday who knows but again just speculation at this point and they, they didn't tell us what the tier 9 was so I mean just by going off with that with what they say it's probably just a bigger Roma probably only has 12 15 inch guns and then you get to the Christoph Colombo uh, Christoph Colombo, however you say it, uh, with its 16, 15 inch guns. But it is nice to finally get a peek at these ships, see what they're kind of going to be like. 
and um, I am looking forward to them. Uh, I don't know if they're going to get here before the command. No, probably not. They probably aren't, aren't going to make it out before the commander rework. So shoot, these are these are probably hmm, probably another two, three, four months away. Probably unless they do just really like get them out extremely quickly, which I which I doubt. I, I do doubt that. They have a lot on their plate right now with. Uh, the American battleships coming out. The submarines are still being worked on. Now this, uh, oh, and the commander rework also being worked on. That, that's gonna be a huge, huge, huge mess when it comes out. Then you're know, trying to rush the balance skills and stuff. But that, that's just the way uh, reworks work. And now also a, a ranked rework, which we'll talk about in another video. So yeah, it's nice to see that they are getting closer and closer to release. Again, probably two to three months away, maybe four, just by my own guesstimations. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you excited by these ships? Or are you uh, looking forward to them? How, how do you feel about Battleship Caliber Sap? Uh, I'm interested and intrigued. And, you know, again, I'm, I'm happy that they're still going forward with it. But to balance it, you know, are they going to have massive reload times? Or is their signal going to be garbage? We shall see all in the future. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 20,000 subs. We just passed 17K not that long ago. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Thursday. And I hope to catch you guys in the next one.